Okay, now I've got my YouTube video in. I'm now going to add my buttons in. Now you might want to have your buttons under the banner in a linear fashion, so in a line, or you might want to have them down the left hand side. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to click on components and I'm going to go through the menu and I'm going to find the button icon. So there we go, button. So I'm going to click and drag it. Now all I'm going to do is select the size of it, click in the corner and I can change the size of it. Now, depending on how many buttons you're going to have, depends on probably the size, but I'm pretty happy with that size there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so it's just touching and on the edge of my banner. So once I've moved it where I want it to be, click on the button, click on properties on the right hand side, and now I'm going to change the text that appears. So the label currently says button, but I want it to say home. So click in the label icon in the box, change that to home, and as you can see, the button has now changed to home. Now what I can also do is I can change the colour, so if you click on your button, click on the colour grid in the top right hand corner, and I'm now going to pick a colour that matches. Now remember, we have made our own buttons, which we will add at some point, but this is obviously just so the page looks finished. Okay? Once you've changed your colour, selected your colour, click off, and there you go, you have a finished button. Now obviously you're going to have multiple buttons on here, so you can actually copy, right click and paste, and it kind of goes over the original, move it along, click on it, select label, and then this might be networks. And there we go, so we've got a home and a networks button. I'm going to copy the networks button, right click, paste, move it along one, and I might change this to the CPU. So I'll double click on my button, click on label, change that to CPU. Okay, and eventually you should be able to do that, and then you'll have multiple buttons completed across the top of your page. Now, if you end up like me, I can't have another button on there because my buttons are either too big, then all I'm going to do is reduce the number of buttons that I have on my page, or I can reduce the size of the button. So at this time, I'm just going to change this from CPU to um, RAM, and then I'm going to change the last one from CPU, and I'm going to change this to um, storage. Now, what I'm going to do is use, I'm going to highlight all of the buttons. If I can't, should be able to. There we go. And I'm just going to move them along. So that red line means that they're in the middle. So that is adding buttons.